Alright gang, welcome back to our playthrough on Beilu. You join me as we have a lot of things to do in May. Our big field here is ready to harvest. Our little field down here is also ready to harvest. We've got to fertilize this field a second time. Um, I believe... I don't think we have to do this one. I'm pretty sure we did that one already, right? We should have did lime on it, but yep, we're good there. Uh, and we have to drill this field over here. So we've got a lot of things to do today. Um... So we'll see what we get to. We may not get to all of it today, but we're going to attempt to get through most of it. But first things first, we're going to go ahead and start drilling this field up here immediately. And we'll probably put a worker on doing the drilling here. And we'll get harvesting ourselves here very, very soon. But that's the goal, at least initially here. Whoa! We almost flipped her. We almost flipped her. So uh, early on here this morning, I went ahead and filled up the uh, the tank here for the cedar. So we're good there. We don't have to worry about uh, running out of seed. Now, as far as what we want to put in here, what do we want to put in? Let's see. It is May. Uh, do, 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 May. I'm going way too far here. That's what I want. Uh, boom, 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 May. One, two, three, four, five, six, November-ish. Decemberish, potentially, on what we put in. I think we're going to put canola in here, gang. What a long growing crop. Something's going to take a little bit. We'll put some canola in. Now, I've talked many times about trying to maybe, maybe potentially expanding these fields, and we are going to do that soon enough. Uh, but right now we've got so much going on that we're just going to continue with the fields as is until we get to a month where there's not a whole lot to do, uh, but we still have like maybe one thing to do. Maybe you have to spray a field or fertilize a field or whatever it is, right? Then we can go ahead and work on expanding the field that way. Um, as I've mentioned a number of times, we are allowed to uh, skip and jump through uh, months in this series because there's really no specific restrictions in this series. It's just a matter of us playing it and trying to build our bankroll up as we continue to move on through the different campaign maps. So there's no rule there. So we're allowed to do that whenever we need to. If we really have absolutely nothing to do, we can just skip through from a couple of months. We've already done that. I think we skipped through one month or maybe two. I don't remember. So I normally uh, I have a uh, like a ticker at the end of uh, the videos that I kind of give a special thanks to. Uh, I did recently receive my second ever member, uh, so I just want to call both of my members out really quick and uh, thank both of them. So thank you, Matthew Nee and Frog. I don't know if it's I don't know if you go by Frogger JB or Frog RJB. Either way, thank you so very much for your support. I really appreciate it. Now. Frog, Frog RJB or Frogger R, Frogger JB, however you want to call yourself. Um, let me know down below in the comments and make sure that make sure I get it right moving forward. But uh, you will likely not be on. No, you'll be on this one, I should say. But there will be some before this one that I've already pre-edited and already have uploaded uh, to come out during the same week that this is being released. There's going to be a few probably after this one as well where you won't be on that ending. Thank you. Um, just because I had those previously done and updated and uploaded and edited before uh, before you subscribe, so. But thank you both so very much. I appreciate you. Now, as far as the crop that we can harvest. So we've got, let me get around here, actually let me get up here to the to, to the end here, throw it on a worker and we can move from there. Um, we have, I believe, some stuff still in uh, the silo at the train yard. So uh, it's still not going to be the best time to sell. It may is getting closer, certainly, but it's still not going to be the best time to sell. We do have $265,000 right now though. So we're not technically hurting for money. But I would like to have some money. Some more money, I should say. Now, this worker's not going to go where I want him to go. Yep. Or she or he, whoever it is, is not going to go where I want him to go. But we'll have to touch that up later. They like to go at uh, an angle for some reason. 
So we'll just let them do that thing and uh, let them do their thing and we'll fix it up later. Uh, so we're not really exactly hurting for money, but where I'm going with this is there are fields near us like this one, which is a lot, that are ready to harvest as well that we could buy. Um, but we really don't have the money for it. We can buy that one, but I don't think it's ready to harvest yet. No, but it's getting close, but it's not ready to harvest yet. So, and that think well actually that might not be potatoes so say I think that's potatoes but it might not be that might be uh no that's got to be potatoes right I don't know it might be sorghum I don't know it's got to be sorghum this is sorghum up here right I don't know anyway uh, there is potential for us to buy <clears throat> more land right and that's kind of where I want to go with this right I we really need a third tractor we need some more equipment too but I mean I don't know. I don't think we actually have to have it right now. It does mean that, you know, the videos are sometimes a little bit longer than they probably need to be, but... We'll see. We'll see where we get to, but, I mean, I I've been talking about it for a while, about doing that. It's just a matter of us actually pulling the trigger on it or uh, continuing on as we are here uh, and trying to just upgrade things on the farm itself. We really haven't spent any time yet on our yard or anything like that either, right? We haven't spent time, you know, building paths or anything like that. We're just kind of driving through the grass as is for now. So lots of things to do here. Uh, I believe this is episode... 10? Is that right? It's 9 or 10. I forget. But we're getting actually pretty close to our... Uh, to our statement where we said before that we would... Uh, move on to the next series, right? I said about 15-ish, maybe 20, 15 to 20. So, I mean, we're halfway there if this is 10, which I think it is 10. We're halfway there. So, we really don't have a whole lot of time left on this map before we're going to be jumping to the next one, given that understanding, right? So, I don't know. I don't know if we spend the time on those fields or not. We probably should buy them when they're ready to harvest that way we uh you know we get some of that money back and when we sell them later on when we're ready to move on we're gonna make a lot more money because we'll have more fields to sell right versus just doing cosmetic work to the farm itself right to the yard and making you know roads and everything else Well, we could be halfway, or we're more than halfway. I should have said that. I should have prefaced that. I said we were about halfway, but who knows if we're going to get to 20. We might stop at 15. I doubt it. I mean, I can almost tell you we're not, but... I think you get what I mean, though, right? There's a lot of decisions to be made. But how's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing well. Uh, the time of this recording, it is actually uh, race day. Um... Some of you know that I, I like racing as well. Uh, it's the Indianapolis 500 today, and it's also the uh, Monaco GP. Now, the Indy 500 may get rained out. Um, so, Indianapolis is about two-hour drive from where I live, two, two and a half, give or take. Um, not far. I normally go every year. We didn't go this year. Um, just we have a lot of things going on and, and not really a whole lot of time and, and money right now to spend on that so we didn't go this year first year i haven't gone in probably six years but i don't even know if they're actually going to race because there's so much rain coming it's supposed to start i think the actual race is going to start at 12 45 engine start 12 38 35 something like that and then the race starts 12 45 i think rain's going to start hitting indianapolis around noon and it's not going to stop until like 11 p.m so i don't see any way that they get the race in today I just, I don't see it happening. And I've not been putting straw down on the ground. What am I doing? What a dummy. Which one is it? I always hit, the, I always hit the wrong one. It's always different on harvesters. I don't know why. It's never the same. For me, at least. The ones I buy. Well. For a little bit of it, I guess, we wasted some, but it got a little extra fertilizer on the ground, so that's fine.
Now we probably need to buy the straw baler, right? The straw silage baler. We utilize this a lot. Um, you know, I like to try to change things up, but <clears throat> it's just such a very useful piece of equipment because it allows us to do straw as silage bales, which makes us more money than just straw bales would. So I probably need to buy that. Um, as a matter of fact, I haven't really looked to see what's out in the used shop today. Not really anything for us. Maybe this, this semi-truck, potentially. Uh, this is a baler, but it does not do uh, the silage bales. There's very few of them. I think there's three, I think, in that mod that I downloaded. I think it's three. I could be wrong. But I think it's three. Um, we're almost full here, so... I'm going to put it on a worker here in just a second, and then uh, unload this. As a matter of fact, we're going to do something different. Something I've been saying we're going to do for multiple episodes, and we have yet to do it. We're going to spend the money to upgrade the pipe on this twin screw. So when we get up here, I'm going to drive over there to the tractor. Well, I'll put the, I'll drive the tractor over here, I guess. Be easier. Unload this thing. Take the header off. We'll head to the shop. Make that upgrade. And then uh, that way we don't have to worry about having to have a full load here to get it unloaded because of the unique expansion of that header. Now, inside, as far as... Oh, quick save here. Now, as far as what we have actually in the silo... Uh, actually, we don't have anything to sell. Well, I stand corrected. I thought we still left... I thought we left soybeans in there. Maybe we sold them in the last episode. It's been a while since I did the last episode on this. Uh, I had had to do a few of those back-to-back -back for a bit. I was out of town, so... A matter of fact, I'm going to be out of town relatively soon as well. That's probably another reason why we didn't go to the Indy 500 today. <clears throat> At least the day, the time of this recording. Today. Going to Vegas soon. Pretty excited about that. All right, there's still crop in there. So that mm, I don't remember if you do a, if you make an edit to it <clears throat> when there's when there's crop in there if it removes it or not. So just to be safe, to make sure that that doesn't happen, we're gonna head this. We're gonna head this. We're gonna take this down to our train silo that we're utilizing as our own silo and uh, unload it. That way we make sure we don't have any issues when we go upgrade this harvester. All right, so we're back. So I was looking <clears throat> while we were driving up. I would, I think, like to buy this one. It's a little bit more than we have, about $30,000, but we can probably get there with this harvest if we were to sell it. Um, <clears throat> it uh, has a 98% yield bonus. So uh, that's, that's, a, that's a winner right there. And it is barley. So I think that's the path we're going to go. All right, we'll drop that off there. And let's head to the shop and let's get this thing upgraded. All right, let's. Uh, wow, repainting this is going to cost us twenty-six grand. Holy cow! Well, we might as well repair it. We're not planning on getting rid of it anytime soon, but we're not going to uh, repaint it. It can just suffer with the paint it's got. Uh, where is the pipe? Here we go. Long pipe. Seven thousand eight hundred fifty dollars more. Evidently, I had a license plate on this thing. I don't want that. All right, seven thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars down the drain, but this will allow us to, at least it should allow us to unload on the move, which is really what we want because that's going to save us time. <clears throat> Whenever we have a worker helping us out, we can uh, pull the trailer up next to it and uh, unload on the fly. That'll be really nice. All right, so we're back. <clears throat> I should have been recording. I had a run in with. Uh, Oh, Alfred, the blue car, he, uh, he caused me some mayhem up there at that turn. He just turned right into me. But, uh, we made it through. I should have recorded it, but, oh well. In any case, we're gonna get, uh, this field done here, gang, so I'll go ahead and, uh, put a time lapse in here. Uh, we'll get it done. We'll take all the stuff to the silo, all that good stuff. We'll, uh, check on the worker over there doing the drilling. Lots of things to do today.
All right, that field is nice and drilled. Uh, this one's going along nicely as well. Um, we have got to fertilize that field we just drilled, and uh, we need to roll it. We can spray it um, in the next episode if we want to, or we can spray it now. We'll just see how things go first. Uh, the trailer is full, so we've got to go unload that pretty quickly as well, because that uh, harvester will be full real quick. Since our trailer is... Uh, Not as large as the capacity of the actual harvester. It's going to uh, continue to fill up pretty quickly there. So we got to get moving along on that. Now, I don't remember if we still have lime in here or if we have um, fertilizer. I would suspect it to be lime. If I, Oh, there goes Byron. Suspect it to be lime, if I remember correctly. It is lime. So, even though it's a little... Different from where we normally do it. I'm just going to unload these here. Because the other ones are just kind of in our neighbor's crop field. And while it doesn't really bother it, because it's a computer, it, it, bother, it bothers me a little bit. So we're going to move those there for now. Or leave those there for now. And it looks like we do have a pallet of uh, sugar that has spawned. So that's nice. Um, yep, 1,000 liters of sugar. So that's good. Plenty of sugar beet in there. Looks like it does not uh, produce it as fast as I was hoping. We may end up having to put in a few of those down. Maybe we do two or three of them. That way we can speed up the process. Especially if we're making that many sugar beets. <clears throat> Although, doing another one, I don't know for sure if they would distribute evenly between the two or not. I have no idea. But, either way, something we should potentially look at. Alright. 32,000. I'm probably going to put a little bit more in, actually. I'm going to keep the cover open. We're going to hit our silo up real quick, put a little bit more in there, not a ton, maybe another, I don't know, 20%, get to about 50%. We're going to have to get uh, a worker going on this, ooh, I went a little further than that, 60%. we we'll have to get a uh, worker going on this pretty quickly here. I'm just going to go over there and throw a worker on it, we're not even going to 
uh, do a headland pass. We'll just let, we'll just let him go and uh, see how he does. We can touch it up later because we've got to get that trailer unloaded because he is nearly full again. He's going to be full probably before we even get all of this set up and running. Yeah, you can just do whatever you want, man. I'll, I'll come up and touch it up later. So I really want that field down there, but <clears throat> the more I think about it, <clears throat> we might want to do a tractor instead. I mean, we've got a lot going on right now, and, and two tractors is it's really not uh, being as, as efficient as I would like to be, and what I mean by that is it's taking us longer to do it because we have to make so many different trips back and forth, drop something off, go pick something else up, drop something off, go pick something else up. Like, if we had two tractors, we could have had, you know, when when that one tractor was nearly finished with the drilling, we could have put a worker on doing the fertilizer uh, spreading and saved ourselves a few minutes of time, I guess. Yep, harvester is full again, so we'll go unload that. We're going to make a bunch of trips here back and forth. Uh, I'll just do a jump cut of this. You've seen me do this enough times. You don't need to see me. Just continue to go back and forth unloading uh, a trailer. But we're nearly done with this field, too, so that's good. We also need to fertilize <clears throat> our small little field we created over there as well. But that'll take a few seconds. And another load pretty much ready to go here. It wasn't actually full, which was surprising, but it is going to be more than uh, 1,200 liters that's left there, so we have to make another uh, trip down to the silo, but uh, the silo's getting pretty full. <clears throat> well, it's unlimited. I shouldn't say it's getting pretty full, but in comparison, I think we've got a lot in there. There's uh, 40,000 liters in there at current. We're going to have well over 50,000 liters. All right, it says both workers have finished their jobs, so I suspect the harvester went perfectly fine, but the fertilizer spreader, who knows? Uh, I suspect we're going to have a lot to touch up there. The more I'm thinking about it, gang, I, I did take a peek at the price of wheat right now. The price of wheat is actually very good, for surprisingly, for May, and it's not going to be a good again until December, January. It's only like $150 less, I think, than what it normally is if we send it through the train. I think we're going to sell it. I think we're going to sell our wheat. And then I think we're going to go the path of buying that field down there. I said I wanted to get a third trailer. A third trailer. Third tractor. We still may. It just depends on how much money we make off of this wheat. I suspect it to be a lot more than uh, I'm anticipating because there's a lot of, a lot of wheat in there. 50,000 liters is a lot. Actually, it looks like we almost, almost could have fit this into the trailer. I think it would have been 91 liters too much. Or right around that. Alright. So I'm going to go put this away really quick. Uh, while we're doing that, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the wheat, average best, 2166 in the December, right? It's 1931. I mean, <laughs> we'd be stupid not to sell it, right? Stupid not to. So we're going to sell it. Really need to figure out, I've been saying this since pretty much the beginning, we need to figure out something to do with our harvester here, because it's just kind of hanging out in all the elements, and that's not really ideal. Uh, this guy actually did not do that bad. I'm, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I thought it was going to be a lot more uh, work to do and to touch this up. And for whatever reason, the price of the wheat, even though it's supposed to be going down, is going up at the train yard. So uh, we might as well go ahead and touch this up quick. Give it an extra few dollars to our name here. A few couple bucks helps. Uh, there's the section up here, which they always mess up because they go at an angle. I don't understand the angle thing here. I mean, I guess it's kind of a slanted field, but it still doesn't make any sense. So 
So you can see the wheat, 1931, it's still going up. So that's why I'm like, uh, let's do a few more things around the farm here before we go sell it. Get ourselves a few extra bucks if we can do it. So we'll finish the uh, fertilizing here. Pretty much done now. And then we're going to go fertilize the field that we created over there. The small field. And then I'm going to look at uh, renting the baler for the straw. Or maybe buying it, but probably renting it. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. Because if we're going to buy that field down there, we might wait. We might actually wait on even picking this up. We might wait to the next episode to do that too. Because if we wait, we can, you know, if we, if we decide to not buy it and we just lease it or rent it, um... We can kill two birds with one stone, right? Because barley should still drop straw, I think. I think it's just oat that doesn't drop anything. Okay, let's turn that off. Let's go put this into... I don't know why I turned that off. What am I doing? I just said I was going to come over here and fertilize that field. I didn't do it. Get it together, Z. Come on. No, it's early, but come on, get together. So last night, um, some of you know, I have a small crop field in the back of my uh, yard. It's not my crop field. There's a crop field in the back of where my actual house is. Small one. Uh, the worker was out working late last night. He was out there. I heard him backing up with the tractor and the beeping noises and everything about 12-ish. Mm, 11.30, 12 o'clock at night. So... He must have been doing a lot of stuff all day and was getting everything done that day. He was out there working. I couldn't really get a good picture of it, unfortunately. Um, recently, they put some new landscaping stuff in our backyard because, well, if you've known for a while, well, you might have. They've been doing some um, piping work in, uh, in the backyard as well. Drainage stuff from the crop field, and there's a business at, at an ang another angle of my, of my uh, house. Uh, whenever it rains a lot, there's some drainage issues, so they were working on all of that, and uh, now they've put up some landscaping, some you know, evergreen trees, which I love evergreen trees, but they're kind of blocking my view a little bit from the crop field, unfortunately. I'm assuming they put those there because eventually they're expecting to buy the rest of that crop field and turn it into more houses, which is sad, but, um, you know, it is what it is. But if it's ever in the daytime, I can uh, at least, you know, try to run out there and, and grab a, a photo or a picture or something. Hopefully I'll catch him uh, this year during the harvest. That'd be, that'd be really cool. Alright, it's unloaded. I actually went ahead and started the worker doing the rolling as well on the field that we drilled. Um, you know, I... Really, I'm not a, a rolling fan, so if I can get some of that done while we're doing this, I'm happy about it. All right, we went the train. He's very close. Very, very close indeed. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Fantastic. the wheat in there. It did actually... <laughs> I was sitting there trying to gain an extra buck. It dropped one dollar, even though it still says it's going up. It's 1930 now. It was 1931, so... Oh, well. Let's go sell this. Make us some money. I'm hoping it's enough money to get another smaller size tractor. And I say small size tractor, I don't mean you know... I don't mean one that has like 80 horsepower, it has to have at least 100, 150 horsepower, but one that can at least do some of the stuff on the farm, right? We've got to, it's got to be able to do some stuff. If it can do fertilizing, spraying, rolling, something like that, like that would be the ideal situation. But we're definitely going to buy that field over there. 98% yield bonus, and it's got some trees on it too. So when we get to that point where we're going to start getting ready some more trees of wood chips, it'll be worth it. 96,000. So not as much as I was actually hoping, but that's okay. All right, so the worker's going good there. 
Um, so I think, uh, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll buy this land here. 291, that's gonna leave us with, mm, about 60,000. That's really not as much as I was hoping, but, um, I mean, it's gonna give us another harvest, right? A 98% yield bonus harvest. So let's buy it. So, we've got a lot of things still to do. We probably are not going to get them done in this episode, though. We've got to do that field there, which is a smaller field. We've got our new field right here, which will be able to be uh, harvested. And we've got a ton of trees on there, which is really good, because when we get those wood chips going again, that's going to make us a lot of money. And we've got to get all of the straw up off the ground over there. But I think, given everything that we have to do here in the next episode, and the fact that it's going to save us money by waiting to uh, rent the baler, I think we're going to leave the episode there, gang. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe if you're new. It's free. Helps me out a ton. If you have any thoughts, questions, comments, ideas, you know the drill. Let me know down below. Happy to get back to you on that. Uh, check my other channels out. Links are in the description down below. There. Special thanks to our channel members once again. And until next time, I'll see each and every single one of you in the next episode.